Hello friends. Happy Friday. An old favorite. Ah, got a bit of sticker shock. Not really, but uh, apparently taxes have gone up again. And uh, it just added like 90 cents to everything. that and I picked up one of these for tomorrow morning and they were like seven fifty each which isn't terrible but it's more than usual uh, but I also got this at the store down the down the walk a bit and this was two dollars and seven cents so you know Considering this is the equivalent of a glass of water, eh, relative bargain. But it is a hot day today. I had to walk quite a bit this afternoon. And, uh, it's pretty busy today, so I'm thirsty. Hope y'all had a great week. Very glad it's Friday. It's been a good week. I, uh, if you remember that presentation I was jabbering on about uh, back at the end of May, well, I had a follow-up to that this week. And it went absolutely perfectly. I was very, very happy. gotten really good feedback so I guess I'll continue to be employed for a few more days uh. you know it's it's funny we we used to talk about work-life balance a lot and I've been switching that around and I've been talking about life work balance because I think we've really lost sight of it. it it sometimes seems like we work to live and or do we live to work I, I don't know which I'm not thinking clearly about it right now but we got our priorities screwed up just a job it's just a job and uh, if you find yourself sitting up at two o'clock in the morning worrying about something related to work, you probably should start looking for another job. Anyway, let's go home. So as you can see, it's a, it's a nice day. There's some clouds up there, but the uh, sun is shining. It poured yesterday. I mean, it was just torrential downpours. It's been, it's been raining just about every day since the 4th but it will be like this you know we'll have we'll have this kind of weather which is quite nice and then it'll just pour like out of nowhere you'll see these big black clouds start forming and then it's just buckets of water coming down from the heavens and it usually corresponds with just about the time I'm ready to sit out on the patio and have a pipe or a cigar so it's very annoying um, I don't know what I did to anger the weather gods, but they're really mad at me. Maybe it's my incessant talking about weather that's got them upset. So I wanted to briefly revisit my uh, my monetization, demonetization chat. Um, I got a lot of good comments on that, a lot of good conversation, and uh, you know, in the end, and I think I just said this to someone uh, this morning in a comment, you know, it's the hand we're dealt, you know, we're not going to change it, we can complain about it if it makes us feel better, but it is what it is, and life goes on. You know, my take on it was, and still remains, that 
it's not censorship, it's, it's not YouTube trying to control content, because they have not done anything to restrict content. It's just them saying that they want to keep their advertisers happy. Now, a few people have pointed out, and it's, it's a good point, that, you know, if the advertisers looked at the, the kind of people, the, 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 you know, the stuff we buy, the, you know, we're, we're a perfectly good democra democratic, demographic, <laughs> to be, there's a Freudian slip there, we're a perfectly good demographic to be advertising to, so why in the world would you want to limit that? What? We don't live in a logical world. We stopped that a long time ago, and it's, it's a shame. But we do not live in a logical world. We live in a world of emotion. And people make decisions based on emotion rather than logic. And that's part of the reason why the world is so crazy these days really crazy. You look at some of the people that have been elected to political office, especially the last the last round here in the U.S. Man, there, there are some nutty folks out there. And hell, they... You know, these are people that I don't think could hold down a job, let alone be, be a, a, a senator or a congressperson. I don't know. But the advertising stuff is is interesting, and, and it gets it gets into a deeper sort of rabbit hole if you really start thinking about advertising, because there's no question in my mind, and I talked about this last last time. There's no question that there is a conscious effort by some folks out there to try to program reality. You know, they are, they are clearly using social media platforms and uh, Google searches and, and how things show up in your, your feeds on the various social media platforms. Uh, you know, how the news items show up and things like that. They are using this to try to generate a reality that does not currently exist. And that's scary. Well, advertising is part of that. You know, there are, I read an article a few years ago that claimed that there are, I think they said four advertising uh, companies, basically, globally. There are only four. Now, I'm sure there are some small ones in some places, but these are, you know, the big ones that are going to hit the big, big major markets. You know, the large European networks, the, the big U.S. networks, um, U.S., North America, uh, all that. So, there are only four companies. And one of them is in Japan. And the reason that's important is that Japan is kind of the holdout. So, Japan is not... The Japanese consumer is not going to... is not responding the way that... We are, uh, we being folks here in the U.S., they, they're frankly offended by some of the stuff. And in order to generate customers, the, the advertisers in Japan need to take a different approach than the companies here in the U.S. are taking. But the, the companies that are running advertising in this country are actually part of this programming of reality. And if you watch ads... You know, pay attention to commercials and see what the message is that they're sending. When is the last time you saw a competent father in a commercial? Men are idiots. In, well, we're, we're idiots on TV in general. Right, we're, we're either completely incompetent or we're loudmouth morons. Um, in commercials, you know, I... I <laughs> they sometimes have these commercials of, like, like there was one a while back that was a soup commercial. And it was just, you know, this guy was making himself a bowl of soup for lunch. And the wife comes in and, and she just, she treated him like he was an absolute moron for opening up a can of whatever soup because 
she only eats this soup and uh, we're, we're just portrayed as being idiots and that's just part of it um, you know there's other things that are rammed down our throats um, the, 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 I, I try not to be political because I don't think it's productive you know, I, I, it's not that I that I don't have political thoughts myself and it's not that I don't think you have them but we can disagree on those things and still have these conversations you know? so I, I try not to get into the politics of it but it's just there if you don't see the agenda you're missing out it's there it's blatant I don't think it could be more obvious. But I got to thinking about this point that many of you raised about, you know, why in the world would an advertiser not want to advertise to us? Because we are consumers and we buy a lot of stuff and we're good people. You know, we, we're actually quite better than some of the other, um, you know, what? Well, anyway, I don't want to get into the, to pointing fingers or anything, but I'm sure there's a lot of other communities on YouTube that you could point to and say, you know, they're probably not going to be great customers for your, I don't know, I don't even know. I don't pay attention to the ads. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But like I said, we don't live in a logical world. But as I was thinking about this, it occurred to me that if YouTube wanted to apply this logic, uh, it just, it, this is just a random thought, and I haven't thought through it that carefully, which is what these roadway chats are all about. But take the Lord of the Rings movies, The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings, that whole set of movies, the, the recent ones, the... Um, uh, Jackson, I can't think of his first name. Movies. Well, these were, were immensely successful, right? And there was a lot of advertising money tied up in those movies. You know, who wouldn't want to have a Lord of the Rings Happy Meal or, um, you know, a Lord of the Rings, uh, I don't know, cell phone cover or something? I'm, and I'm sure there was <clears throat> there was a lot of that sort of stuff going on. Well, by the logic that they're using, advertisers wouldn't want to be associated with those movies because they, you know, showed pipe smoking in a very positive light and uh, were promoting tobacco use. Now, I know that sounds silly. And anybody that's seen the movies would say that's ridiculous. It was just part of that culture that we were imagining and it, it made it a richer experience. But we've become so anti that even that is, is unallowable now. So if, if The Lord of the Rings was a YouTube series, would it be demonetized? <laughs> and I'm guessing that if they were true to their to their uh, their criteria, it would be. And they'd be missing out on an enormous amount of ad revenue. But they were missing out on an enormous amount of ad revenue for what they're doing uh, to us and to others. You know, to the folks that are interested in firearms and knives and, you know, probably hunting and who knows what else. Why they can't just let the, you know, put a, put a checkbox on your advertiser thing and say, do you want to be advertising on channels that promote the use of tobacco? Give the, give the advertiser an opportunity to decide. And don't lump it in with all the other nonsense. You know, don't lump it in with recreational drugs and you know, alternative sexual things or whatever I, I just actually if you read the 
the, the list, it, it, it's, it's almost laughable the way that the, the, the number of things that are just sort of lumped in with tobacco. It, it, it just seems almost random that tobacco was thrown in there. <clears throat> anyway, folks, this has gone on quite a while. It was a good ramble, though. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And I'll talk to you soon.